Hello world. So uh, this is a talk about why C++ for large scale systems. We have this uh, CPP India user group where this question was raised. What is it about C++ that makes it possible to write large scale systems? Well, I wouldn't say possible because you could do a bad job in any language, but to do it well, you've come to the right one. So what, after all, is a large scale system? Is a system, it has a scale, which looks like this. I'm sorry, uh, it should be like this. I just didn't want to pull up the wiki definition of it. So they are everywhere. These large scale systems are in banking, telecom, data centers, government, scientific research, all kinds of largeness is there out there. So up for the challenge is our dear C++. And why? Yes, I do love it. But because it's proven, it works everywhere from space and other planets to LHC to data centers everywhere and telecom, for sure. So C++ for expressivity and static type system? Well, of course, uh, equal support for built-in types uh, and user-defined types. You know, you just can use it just like you use an int and overload, metaprogramming, these mechanisms make it possible. You don't have to be enforced by the language on a particular paradigm. You take a pick. You want a style, data-oriented, declarative, you can go for it. So, just no restriction. Strong types, we have strong types, uh, automatic conversions, you know, uh, value types help you keep, you know, not have to manage lifetimes, et cetera. Conversions are automatically managed, like you see in this example, seconds easily converts into microseconds, no problem. And it's always going to be correct. Uh, compact memory layout, you would have seen Bianos present that kind of a slide. Objects are contiguous in memory, maximizing cache locality, objects placed on the stack, no contention for the global heap. You know, you're not fighting some global locks to get memory, etc. Automatic resource management. Oh well, we have our favorite closing brace. Unique pointer, shared pointer, name a resource and it can be managed pretty well and in a deterministic fashion. Uh, when the cleanup happens, etc. No waiting for garbage to collect it. And so we have value semantics, rule of zero helps you get there. Exploit hardware. Uh, you have platform specific instructions that you can exploit. Heterogeneous computing, NUMA, you name it. Concurrency and parallelism, good support for that. Go async, you have futures, continuations. Go routines also with C20. And uh, exploit the hardware world, go for parallel algorithms. Zero overhead, of course, this is your best friend. Optimizations allow for better performance. High level constructs don't come in the way. They, are, they don't translate into runtime costs as far as possible. And stable and portable API makes sure that code runs for a very long time. Your large system can get larger, huger, and you don't have to move. Think about it. Also, write once and deploy and compile, compile and deploy in any OS. It's standard. Just stay to stay with the standard C Just one thing to help yourself: be responsible. Use modern C Don't go to just because it works. Don't go back. So the short answer, given in a long way, is just use C and a bonus slide. Tony Vanner asked, how many times should you attend a CPP con to do a talk? And what's the answer, guys? One. There we go. Thank you very much. This is Ankur from Expo.